Welcome back to the show. We've been able to talk with so many businesses who've had to change their business model and ways to help their employees and stay afloat during this pandemic. And we're getting ready to introduce you to another company that fits that description. Please welcome Alex and Kelsey Carroll to our show today to talk about Stand Up Stations. Welcome to The Blend. How are the two of you today? We're doing great. So let's talk here. COVID hits, you had a live entertainment business, correct? And then it was like, okay, wait, live events aren't happening. What do we do next? Take us back and how you've been able to rebuild with a little different model. Yeah, it was uh, very dramatic on March 12th. We had 13 events going on all over the country from Madison Square Garden to the Houston Rodeo. And we had to call everyone back in on the same day. So it was very impactful for us. I mean, our business went to zero just on that day. So I think for us, we had to look at each other and say, hey, what are we going to come up with? How are we going to get our employees back to work? And then that's when Kelsey had a great idea that she could tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we thought of hand sanitizer stations that people would actually need before they would be going to events. So I'm curious. I mean, hand sanitizer like is obviously the thing. But back in March, when this first happened, to be able to have the foresight to think like, OK, this is what people are going to need. Kudos to you. What has happened since you had this great idea to have been able to move forward? Yeah, it's we've seen the market in general has just exploded, right? We launched StandUpStations.com at the end of March and just seeing all the different orders come in from all over the country, it was really encouraging. You have small businesses that care about their employees, they care about their customers, and they were willing to invest money in sanitizer stations and then also put their brand on it. I think for us, that says the most. When you walk into a restaurant and they have their logo on there and it says sanitize here, that means more than just like a spray bottle in the corner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this may seem like a, a, a kind of a crazy question, but I'm thinking of like hand sanitizer. We've seen some breweries change their, their model and make hand sanitizer. You guys were in live events. What's the correlation between the two or what all of you had to learn to make hand sanitizer stations instead of being able to manage these live events? Our events were at professional sports stadiums and concerts. And these are very, you know, very crowded, very high touch events. And so we thought when events did come back, hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer stations would be huge and they'd be everywhere. And so we did some research looking for these that we could you know, put our logo on or the brand and found that you know, there was, there's kind of an open, open market there. And so we went back to our vendors that build our games, you know, metal workers and print shops. And we just came up with a prototype that we made ourselves here in the U.S. and, uh, you know, prototyped it, put it on the website, sold it locally to a couple of friends and family around Dallas. And uh, it's kind of grew from there. I'm loving being able to see so many different people involved in your product. I, I know this has helped your employees get back to work. We saw a picture of your family. Why do you think your story, though, is resonating so much with many different people across the country? Yeah, I think I think people just like a good comeback story. You know, I think for us, like we know that the only reason that we've been able to be successful is because we have a great team. So when you see a team get knocked down and then they can come back and be successful, Right. I think it's just it's a story that resonates with people and, it, and it's motivating. It's motivating for us when we look around and we see all these people working really hard, doing something that they not didn't necessarily want to do. Right. <laughs> but we're doing it to make it work. I know our big ven venues around here from Raymond James Stadium to Amelie Arena. They're talking 2021 for live events. But that day will get here. We will see live events again. What's next for you? Do you go back to live events? Do you stick with hand sanitizer? What's the plan? Well, the good thing is that a lot of our event uh, event clients um, from toss up events, they need hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer stations. So we're able to continue those relationships and give them something they actually need right now. And so the Tampa Convention Center is one of them. And, you know, they bought some stations from us. So I think that we're filling the need that they have right now. And then when they welcome back guests and employees, uh, we can help them, you know, with with the event stuff down the road. Yeah, the convention center. I didn't even mention that one. That's a great one that you've been able to get involved with. Well, since I do have you here, and I think so many people are looking for that hope, looking for that inspiration right now, especially from a business point of view. Any advice the two of you can share? Because I'm so happy for the both of you. Anything you can pass along to others? 
I think my biggest piece of advice is to small businesses, to business owners in general, is if you have an idea or you have a product, just start somewhere, start small. I think a lot of times people get caught up with, they have to have all the answers, they have to have the perfect website, the perfect product. Just make something, launch the website, come up with a prototype and sell it to your family and friends, have them test it. You know, I think that's what we did and we found it to be successful where we were able to get these stands into the market quickly and then learn from everyone's feedback and not having that fear, right? Don't be afraid to, to get some advice and opinions that you might not like, right? We had nothing to lose at that point. You know, we'd already <laughs> lost true. our events business. And so we were kind of just like, hey, let's just try this. Yeah. See what happens. Okay, so in closing, I want, of course, end on stand-up stations. Kelsey, uh, Alex gave you credit for being able to come up with the idea. Do you still have those moments where you're like, can you believe we're talking about hand sanitizer? It's got to be it's got to be one of those uh, pinch me moments, but a great pinch me moment. <laughs> yeah, we we definitely did not know a lot about sanitizer. We knew <laughs> we knew a little bit about business and, you know, we had the, I guess, enthusiasm and attitude to try something new. Yeah. And you made it work again. Stand up stations. There's the website you see on your screen. Alex, Kelsey, I'm so happy for the both of you to rebound in the way that you have. And we really appreciate you joining us here on the show as well. Yeah, thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.